All right, so this video is going to be dedicated to showing you guys how to work the Avery Media Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus. It's a pretty good capture card. I'd say the only problem is the name of this thing is too damn long. Well, let's go ahead. Let's get right into it. Okay, so let's go over how to actually use this thing. This is just the SD card slot. It's used if you wanted to record directly to the SD card, not have to worry about the computer. Right here, it's probably pretty obvious. It's a micro USB port. It's used to either power it for whenever you're wanting to record to the SD card, or if you're wanting to actually use this as a capture card on the PC. The one closest to it right here, the HDMI port. This is called the input HDMI. So you would have your console plugged into this, and then right here, this is the output HDMI. So you would actually have an HDMI cable coming out of this, and it would be plugged into a TV or a monitor. That way you don't have to play within OBS Studio, because if you play within OBS Studio, I can guarantee you there will probably be some lag, especially if you're trying to play a first-person shooter or something like that. That lag will probably mess you up. Okay, now let's go over how to work the front of this thing. If this is pushed to the far right, then this ends up being an SD card reader for your computer. If it's pushed to the middle, then this will record to the SD card on here. And if it's pushed to the far left, then that ends up being capture card mode for the PC. Now, this right here is nothing more than audio, the plus and the minus. They don't make these ports over here very obvious, but I believe these are for local recording. This right here is what they call the commentary port, which is nothing more than a microphone input. And then right here, this is what they call the game chat port. All you would need to do is you would take a 3.5 millimeter cable plug it into this, and then you would plug it into your Xbox One uh, or PS4 controller. That way you're capable of also capturing your game chat. All right, to use the Gamer Portable 2 Plus, all you gotta do is click the plus button right here. You can go to video capture device, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it uh, Aver. Click OK. So now it's gonna ask you for the device. Look through here. Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus. Click on that. You can try keeping that on default if you want. I've never really had much luck with it. What I would normally do is click Custom. Then you're more than likely going to be doing 1080p. So select 1080p. FPS, just keep it at match output. If you have any issues, just set it with 60. Um, for video format, pretty much just try and keep that all default. You can mess with it if you want to, but it doesn't seem like it does really that much in terms of color. Now, the hard part, in my opinion, or at least I thought it was hard because I didn't understand, was actually just how to set up the audio on here. Um, what you can do is if you click Use Custom Audio Device, you actually want to select where it says Microphone uh, Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus, and then it will actually output the audio of the game. They don't make that very obvious, and I was really confused when I first got that. This is all you have to do to get the audio to come out of it. Um, right here for the output mode, capture audio only is going to make it to where only the stream can hear it. Versus if you go to wave out, it will make it to where you and the stream can hear it. Alright, and now that you've set up your capture card in OBS Studio and configured it, all you'll need to do is make sure your console is plugged into the input HDMI port and that is turned on. As long as the resolution that you selected earlier matches the one that your console is outputting, then you should see what your console is displaying. Alright, now that's all we have for this video. If you have any issues with the capture card, feel free to let us know down below. Hopefully we'll be able to help. If you want us to be able to answer back a little bit quicker, you can always join our Facebook group, and the link for that will be down at the bottom of the video.